just to give a short background, um, it has already been mentioned. One of Africa really at the center of you know the impacts of climate change, the intensity in droughts, the impacts that it has on human life and livestock has already been mentioned. But the thing that we also are cognizant about and that informs our work is the fact that the thinking that drives response and resilience heavily borrows from uh, perception that you know pastoralists are in essence vulnerable because of the practice of pastoralism, which is from uh, experiences and uh, research not um, actually the right perspective. Indeed, pastoralism is in itself an adaptive response um, to that environment. So of course we see recent shifts in thinking and uh, we could see that policies at various levels have also adopted uh, uh, the new shift and also a lot of um, you know programs, uh, resources uh, have, uh, have gone into you know addressing um, drought, but still we see massive you know challenge when drought again happens and it brings back the question again, what is it that we are missing out? Is it, are there opportunities that we're missing out, particularly now from our focus for this particular project in terms of engaging you know, the community uh, uh, related actions? And for this particular project, we uh, premise um, you know, our, um, the understanding of, of, of um, the issues that actually pastoralists themselves have wide network of knowledge systems. You know, they have critical resources that support them and these are all central to resilience building. And we have seen, um, I think we have all seen that pastoralists have varied ways of responding, you know, keeping mm -hmm. the hands mobile, um, sharing, you know, resources, uh, loaning of livestock in times of uh, difficulties, name it, and also feeding livestock in times of stress. But at the same time, uh, you could see that not all these things work. But one thing that we, recognize is that there's a sense of high reliability management that at the center of all this, there are networks that are skilled, that take actions that avert crisis. And this already, uh, Ian has mentioned, is akin to other uh, infrastructure uh, projects, for example, like running, for example, electricity uh, like grids. There's network or high reliability professionals who run. And we assume now that that is what um, uh, pastoralism also ran upon. In terms of our proposed research now for this particular project, then we say towards understanding uh, these issues, there is need now to undertake comprehensive documentation of these you know, locally employed uh, pastoralist practices. And also this accompanied by what, what are some of the actions and the efficacy of these actions and how these actions are socially differentiated as well as you know, by the different shocks and um, even different um, in the different context. So the outcome that we expect uh, from all of this is to deliver sort of a grounded, you know, locally relevant perspective uh, on the opportunities that are there for building resilience and climate adaptation, which are linked uh, to you know, the pastoralist own reliability management practices. That is the main essence of thing. And of course, the locally generated um, approach uh, to reliability and management and resilience building will also be contrasted with um, the various projects and programs that have been taking place. How has been the linkage between what the communities do and what has been happening in terms of response by various uh, actors in this. And the overarching goal is how can we um, entrench rethinking of resilience from community level and linking with other stakeholders in academia, you know, in practice and policy. And that is the essence of uh, having you here and um, um, really having this conversation. So as already been mentioned, uh, the policy, policy um, environment is critical, uh, bringing all we are talking about together. So it is quite important uh, to establish, establish um, policy disconnects that are there, that uh, exist, and then look at also what opportunities are there within the existing policies and move forward in terms of looking at how then resilience from the perspectives of pastoralists themselves can be um, 
uh, infused into policy landscape. And secondly, we need to have, of course, continuous collaboration. Such a forum is just the starting point. There's need for engagement much more even after this, such that this integration of you know, the local actions um, can be central in resilience uh, building. And of course, my colleagues who will come will talk about uh, early actions as well, which uh, follows the same thread, thread. And definitely, with all this, we have to pitch it again within you know, government uh, 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 at different levels, in the Kenyan context, from the county to national levels, and of course, the regional, because policies at all these levels um, do affect implementation, as well as also taking advantage of um, international forums, such as the one upcoming, the International Year of Rangelands and Pastoralism. Therefore, having you here really um, underscores the significance you know, of, this, of this forum. And it's a pleasure for us to keep uh, in touch with you to see in what small ways can we enable and build resilience from today. So, Peter, thank you so much, and thanks for your attention.